What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in HTML5. Now in this tutorial series what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking you from a complete noob in HTML5 to a seasoned vet. Teaching you guys all the little tricks, all the tips, giving you guys all the information you need to create awesome websites. So if you guys are like, okay, I don't even know what the heck HTML5 is, well, I kind of just gave it away. It's basically a way where you can create awesome, sweet, epic websites. So if you're saying, okay, I thought I learned about web development before, but maybe not. Well, I want to tell you guys this. If you are completely new to web development and you never made a website before, then I would highly recommend you check out my XHTML and CSS videos and then my JavaScript tutorials. Once you do this, you're going to be ready to move on to HTML5. If you kind of skip over these, and this is the very first video you're watching on web development, I'm going to be moving kind of fast, and you might get kind of lost. So I just want to tell you guys that first. Now, if you're like, okay, what the heck is all this crap? I'll give you guys a five-second introduction. XHTML is basically the core basic elements of a website. It's basically like your foundation. CSS is how you make everything look pretty, add some colors, arrange the pictures nicely, and JavaScript provides functionality, interactivity, it lets the user interact, and basically makes your web page a whole lot smarter. So with the basics, with making it look pretty, and by making it smarter, you guys might think, okay, so that's basically everything I need to make an awesome website. Well. HTML5 is kind of like an XHTML, CSS, and JavaScript burrito. It ties all of it together, makes it a whole lot better, and it's just going to take your web development to the next level. So that's what you guys have to look forward to. It's going to be awesome and amazing. So as we can clearly see from just browsing the web, that the website isn't like it was in like the 1990s. It's no longer just static text and information like reading a book online but it's becoming more interactive and media based so that's what we're going to be learning to do with HTML5 kind of like I said taking our websites and web pages to the next level so before we begin before we start typing a whole bunch of code I want to mention a few things we need a couple tools in order to write HTML5. The first tool we need is a text editor. Now you already have a text editor probably already on your computer called Notepad. However, this is a really dull and boring and simple one. It's not the best. So what I would recommend doing is downloading this one right here. This is called Notepad++. If you go ahead and type that in Google, you can find it and download it for free. But this is a text editor that I would recommend. It's the one I always use, and you guys are going to thank me so much for uh, telling you guys about this. Did I mention it's free? Oh yeah, it's free. So aside from a basic text editor, you also need Google Chrome. Now that's kind of a lie because you can test your HTML5 websites in any web browser, but Google Chrome is the web browser that's always up to date with the latest HTML5 stuff. So if you're using Internet Explorer or Firefox, then I would recommend switching over to Google Chrome because like I said it's always up to date and aside from that I'm gonna be testing all my sites in Google Chrome so if you wanna follow along and do exactly like I'm doing then it's probably best you get the same tools that I'm using so anyways those are the two things you need actually three things you need a text editor you need a web browser hopefully Google Chrome and you need some ambition but hopefully you guys got that already so anyways once you are all set up and ready to go, you're ready to move on to my next tutorial where we are going to be creating the basic shell of a HTML5 website. So it's going to be awesome and amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.